This is Lori Farmer of Global Medical News Network reporting from the 2009 annual meeting of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology in Washington, D.C. It's been a year and a half since the National Asthma Education and Prevention Program unveiled a sweeping update of asthma diagnosis and management guidelines for providers. Now asthma experts are bringing the guidelines key points to patients, parents, educators, and employers. At a media forum, Dr. Gary Rachelewski of UCLA outlined the goals of the Asthma Guidelines Implementation Plan. And the foundation of the implementation process is six messages that were derived from the science-based uh, guidelines. So the first message uh, is that inhaled corticosteroids are the most effective anti-inflammatory medication for the long-term management of persistent asthma. So the second message is that every person with asthma should have a written action plan. The initiative's third and fourth goals are to emphasize the need for all patients to have an assessment of the initial severity of their asthma. In addition, all patients should discuss how well their asthma is controlled at each visit with their physician. The initiative's fifth message emphasizes the importance of appropriately planned visits. Those visits give patients and physicians the chance to anticipate problems instead of reacting to them. What used to happen before is you would define severity, give a patient medicine, and when they got sick again, you would see them again. But the idea is to get ahead of the disease. The initiative's sixth message will be the importance of environmental control. The idea is that every patient should have an environmental history, not just in the, in the home, but in the school, the workplace to take care, uh, so that one has a, a real understanding of, of what's in the environment and then make the appropriate change. This is Lori Farmer with Global Medical News Network.